bench, D.A. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. They've got Dawkins. Mahorn is out there with Barkley. Then there's Hawkins. So the Nuggets win the tip. To the inside. Lane. And he jams it with authority. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding. Rising up off the ground. It's Hawkins on the wing. Shoots the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Early part of the season, Brent, did you take a while to get back in the swing of things, or were you ready to go out of the gates? In order to stay in the NBA, Kevin, no, you, I you could not do be, that. Right, yeah. I could not do that. <laughs> you played 14 I know, years. I loved coming into training camp, being in tip-top shape. It, it really was something I took a lot of pride in, is that I wanted to be going so that our practices for our coaching staff was something we could, we could get through. Now, I understood the role of other guys on the team where it might take a little while for them to get going. Going. But for my mindset and my confidence in the year, I wanted to make sure that the offseason and the work that I was putting in, because that's where players improved the most, I was going to come into camp ready to go. Barkley the pass to Hawkins. Jacks up a three. Drills it from outside. Hawkins has got six points. Look at our matchup tonight, Brent. It's somewhat rare now to have two teams that operate so well with their back to the basket. Interesting to have multiple options down there on the post. And more and more, Kevin, we're seeing it sometimes not even be the center position. It could be a wing player that on any given night has the physical advantage down there. So exactly. defensively, how are these guys going to cope with that? Are there going to be double teams from the bottom, double teams from the top? Are they going to come on the first or second dribble? Let's take a look at that tonight. A lot of moving parts. 76ers moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Pass to Mahorn. Here's Dawkins. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, that's not an assignment that I want there, Kevin. I'd rather do math homework than to try and cover that guy. And the Nuggets franchise still looking for their first trip to the NBA Finals. How about the franchise making the ABA Finals back in 1976? So it's been quite elusive here in the mountains to get the Finals back to Denver. 40 years ago, still looking for that trip. Here's Hawkins. Rebound by the Nuggets. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Dawkins against Adams. Pass to Dawkins. Here's Bart. Adams defending. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Philadelphia shooting their first free throws of this. He's perfect from the line this time. Looking at Philadelphia, they took the win in their last game against Sacramento. Lever passes to Lane. Misses from close range. A 76ers leading by three. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Lever, and the shot goes in. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Here's Dawkins. Passes it to Hawkins. Here is Mahorn. The pass to Dawkins. Just five on the clock. A shot that time, not on target. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. Here's English. He's covered by Hawkins. That gives them the lead. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. It's Hawkins on the wing. Three-pointer. The 76ers again can't hit it. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Dawkins, the pass to Hawkins. Adams against Dawkins. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. And guys, as soon as you start going over it and through a rebounder, you're probably going to get whistled for over the back. Yeah, energy is good, but not smart there trying to go through somebody on that play. Here's English. 
And another miss by Denver. Philadelphia has gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. Barkley left side. Count it from 12. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Here's English. It's his first trip to the line. The first one falls for him. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Yeah, look, you'd like to take the lead on that possession, but at least he was able to tie the game up. Now, there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Good off the glass. English has got five points so far. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. English pulls it in. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against the Hornets in Charlotte. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Doesn't go for him. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Adams against Brooks. Adams' shot is off. For Philadelphia, they've gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. They get it back. Brooks dishes to Barkley. Rebound by the Nuggets. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. This is the baby hook. The 76ers trail. Especially in the playoffs, Brent, so much can change when a player gets in a foul trouble. See the league ever modifying that foul out rule? I know that they do that in the summer league where you can stay on the court for 10 fouls as elimination, yeah. but it's a technical every time. I, I don't see the league doing that. I think it's, it's good for the game so that star players or meaningful players, ones that play specifically on defense, they have to have responsibility for what it is that they're doing on the floor. And if they're overly aggressive, you should be penalized for playing that way. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Brent, so many state-of-the-art arenas being built. Which feature do you think is most important? Oh, the hot dog machine. What are uh, we doing, popcorn, right? Right? And, and the popcorn. popcorn. Hot what dog else, and Kevin? Then the popcorn. Yeah, you right nachos. I love nachos. Okay. You love nachos. What else? I mean, what else could we go with there? Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, That's right? a big because, one. Because when you're done with all that other stuff, you've got to somehow kind yep. of coat your stomach. Yep. You Is this basketball-related or? go somewhere else all a part of the whole conversation I think we covered it stolen by Brooks and here's Hawkins six points for him Barkley kicks to Brooks pass to Hawkins that misses had a chance to tie it there and that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. Unloads from 13. That one rolling around and rims out. Philadelphia's gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. Scooped up. Barkley kicks to Anderson. Double team on Barkley. Over Davis. That's good. And that evens things out for him. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. Flat out taking the game over. And there's no way he's going to give it up. Here's Lever. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Barkley's got four rebounds in this game. To the middle. And Davis sends it back. They get it back. 
Barkley inside. Ten points for him. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Here's Lever, and he can't stop the run as he misses. Well, the defense was right up on him, so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room, well, that makes sense. Pass to English. Will it go? It's not going to go for him. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Here's Barkley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And that one falls for Barkley. He hits both from the stripe. Now Hughes. The Nuggets trail by six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. in the action let's show you the teams with the most second chance points last year the Nuggets number one yeah that was a huge factor for them a season ago their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second chance buckets I mean no one did it better and on the glass so far it hadn't even been close Brooks outside Anderson the bounce pass And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. So he gets them both. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Outside, Davis. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Anderson inside. Goes back up. Pass to Mahorn. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Nuggets trail by eight. Inside. Here's Kempton. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And powering it home. He ends a 12-0 run by Philadelphia. Brooks feeling it out a bit. And Anderson has it in the corner. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. The 76ers have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. Here's Davis. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Mahorn's got his sixth rebound on the night. There's 117 left to play in the first quarter. Left side, Anderson. Back to Brooks. Five to shoot. Here's Dawkins. Almost, but it rolls out. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Hughes. Here's Kepton. Misses the layup. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. There's 49 seconds left here in the first quarter. 
Hughes against Brooks. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. For Denver, they have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. He's off on the second. The 76ers leading by nine. Anderson outside. The pass to Dawkins. Here's Mahorn. Bucket is good. And the 76ers lead by 11. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Shot clock at six. Here's Kempton. And so it's Philadelphia. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're playing a bruising game.